Yes, hello, good evening, how are you all doing? Is everybody fitting well and stuff like that? He said, looking at, at everything. It's like, well, it went to hell in a handcart there, didn't it, Keith? I couldn't understand what was going on. What there. was going on was the fact that the, the web page, our web page, right. didn't pick up the fact that you and I were back. Oh, right. It did not know. I thought it was cleverer than that. No, well, but we are, we're back. Refresh works. What am I getting? Right, okay. It's there, it's there. Is it all working? It seems to be all working. We're not quite sure how or why, but it's there. It's working. And just so you know, there's, there's the, the ever lovely Sav and she's telling us everything's all right. So good, we are working. We is working, we're working, Keith. Brilliant. Six weeks off. Uh, yes. Six weeks off, I came back, my machines wouldn't bloody work. Hello, are we loud? Sput says, welcome back, Day Day. Thank you. Welcome back, Dave and Keith, just like the old days. So it is. Leanna Lawless says it's the loud. Is it loud, Leanna? Is it loud? Is it really loud, Leanna? Is it? Oh, I didn't know. I can hear you. Yeah, it's great. Huh? What? Yeah, you all right? Yeah, fine, yes. Yeah, that's what yes, we like to hear. Uh, hey, um, what? Screen size is smaller? Didn't worry about that, Blaze. Just, you know, it's working. It'll be saved. It's fine. And it's going out in two places on YouTube as well as here. Right. Yes. I'm going to have a vape. Whip it up. 69 says, <laughs> Did Keith go on holiday with Dave? They are the same colour. Are we the same colour? Is it like that? Like that. Ha, 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 ha. I'm roughly, I suppose. Mummy. That Mami. spray on tan. Oh, it's amazing what you can do. <laughs> Actually, we can, shall we let people into the secret? Right on. We're on Strictly Come Dancing this year, Keith and me. We're both on as professionals. God. <coughs> Apparently, I'm dancing with Kylie Minogue. We're going to do the horizontal hoochie coochie every week. And who am I dancing with? Who are you? You've got Jermaine Graham here, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, there we go. So, is it working properly now, is it? Yes, it is. People are saying great to have you back and stuff like that. Right. Shall we do the titles? Tonight we're going to, I mean, I'm going to do a recap of stuff that's happened over the last week and fill you in and fill everybody else in and tell you where things are going and what I've been doing, what I'm going to be doing, where I'm going, what I'm going to be doing when I get where I'm going. And then, aside from that, is that enough? No, we'll do more. We, we tonight, we will be debuting Belly Cam. Bam, ba -da -dam, dam, dam. Belly Cam. That's belly cam, that is. Right. So you'll be able to see Kit. And in front of me tonight, I've got a snow wolf. I have got a Pegasus in the Odyssey kit. I have got the uh, the Sigeli 150 watt TC. I've got the Sigeli oh, 75. God, There's all kinds of kit that we're going to be talking. It's just, it's going to be one of, it's welcome home. That's what it's going to be. And the best thing to do, I think, is to play the titles, isn't it? I think so, we'll yes. Do, we'll do the titles because I'm gabbling, aren't I? Am I? A bit, yes. Just a bit. So, hello! Hello. Good evening. Good evening. My God, that sounds stentorian now, dear boy. Was that I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna, it? Yeah, I'm going to do it again. Right. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the Haze Hour. We're live, we're live, we're in the room. In the room. We're here, we're yes. live. L last week, I flew on Thursday. Yes. Fly like a bird. From Lanzarote to here, but on Wednesday. Yes. Did you see all the fuel, Rory? Yes. As and you were on the, the telly again, on the North East News. Was I? 
Yes. I wasn't even well, in the country. Were... Did... Oh, was Sav was as well? Were you yeah. as well, Sav? Apparently I was. Just, One of uh, the nurses came in. No, it was, um, yeah, it came in. But I seen you on the telly and they did you? I had no clue. No, it was just a, a fleeting thing, that, that old thing from Shields, and yeah. it was repeated. Oh, I need to start claiming royalties yes. for all this. Well, right. I, think I, I, I think I'm going to have to get a hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, yeah, you missed it by 24 hours. Well, I thought the little buggers, they knew when I was coming back and they launched the bloody thing the day before I flew. So I'm sitting there in Lanzarote and my darling wife yep. is saying things like, have you not packed yet? <laughs> this is no, it's only Wednesday, we're doing fly till tomorrow. So you swiftly got your plastic bag out. Pardon? Your plastic bag. What about it? With your few things in. Oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Me speedos, yes. me man and yes. a spare t-shirt. Yes, yes. Yeah. Spare flip-flops for fear I rocked it through the ones I'd been working. So I, I... A lot so, of publicity on the news. On, but uh, all bloody wrong. Well, you know, at least it was publicity. It was, yes, very, very good publicity. Now, for those of you who are not aware, people on the links, be ready. Have a look at this. This is, this is the real I am. This is where it's at. It says a cigarettes and evidence update. And I would, I would suggest everybody read this. It says e-cigarettes are 95% less harmful to your health than normal cigarettes. When supported by a smoking, smoking, a smoking cessation service, I've been speaking Spanish for six weeks, a smoking cessation service, they help most smokers to quit tobacco altogether. Now, listen, that's before you go any further. Right. They help most smokers quit tobacco altogether. That one sentence that one sentence at the top of that there page, the link for which will be going in as and when, that one sentence says it all. I'm going to put it up again. E-cigarettes are 95% less harmful to your health than normal cigarettes. When supported by a smoke and cessation service, they help most smokers to quit tobacco all together. That's what it says. That's what the evidence says, right? Now, that's a bit like the curate's egg. It's a two-edged sword, isn't right. it? Because what they're basically saying is, hang on, we can use these the same as an RT. Now, I have been told that there is no stomach for total medicinalization of e-cigs in the UK. However, I sat and thought about it a bit and I thought I'm going to have a look further into this. So I started reading everything that went. And this is the, the biggie, the new foundation for evidence-based policy and practice. Um, and there are six pages of this. This is the executive report, if you like, tells you about all of the bits and bobs, why the evidence is as it is. And then here we go. This is the bit that I want everybody to see. Safety and the perception of risks. It is important, it says, that the public be provided with balanced information on the risks of e-cigarettes so that smokers understand the potential benefits of switching and so non-smokers understand the risks that taking up e-cigarettes might entail. And I want to talk about that a bit. When used as intended, e-cigarettes pose no risk of nicotine poisoning to users but a liquid should be in childproof packaging. That's fine. Yeah. The accuracy of nicotine content labelling currently raises no major concerns because it's right. about as toxic as dish soap. The conclusion of Professor John Britton's 2014 review for PHE that while vaping may not be 100% safe, most of the chemicals causing smoking-related diseases are absent and the chemicals pre present pose limited danger remains valid. The current best estimate is that e-cigarette use is around 95% less harmful to health than smoking. And I'm going to come out and talk here. Right, now, there's been a lot of who and ha about this 95%. I can see your face going all over the place, Sav. Is there something you need to share? No, no, I'm just stretching my facial muscles at this, lovely. I'm loving the idea of that. Yes, marvellous. Right, look, this 95%. You know, and I know, and Keith knows, and every bugger else knows, these things are safe, 
enough. They are safe enough that the majority of people, smoker or non-smoker, could pick them up, mm. use them, and it would do them no damage. The whole notion that some of the ants have been picking up and saying, oh, does that mean 24,000 people are going to die instead of 800,000? No, it bloody doesn't. What it means is there needs to be a little bit, a little bit of wiggle room. It would have been impossible for Anne McNeil and Peter Hayek to put in the report, look, these things are fine. They're no worse for you than a McDonald's having four pints a night or any of the other things that they could have <coughs> compared it to. The 95% just says they're all right. That's all it means. And all of these anti Easing people that are trying stuff on, they need to look at something which I'm just going to bring in. I wasn't going to do it straight away, but I'm going to do it now. Why the hell not? And this is a piece that that goes under the title of "Nicotine is not the culprit." It's at the BismarckTribune.com uh, from Miles Anderson Mino, and it says anti-smoking groups use unproven information. I don't know what that is there for, to be honest. Nicotine is not the culprit, they say. Mike at Quick, a program director at the Neurodegenerative Disease Program at SRI International, easy for you to say, Keith, has published studies revealing the beneficial actions of nicotine in the brain. She stated, the whole problem with nicotine is that it happens to be found in cigarettes. In a military study, Harold Kahn showed that smokers were 11 times more likely to die of lung cancer and 12 times more of emphysema than non-smokers. Another result was that non-smokers were three times more likely to develop Parkinson's disease. I will read that again. Non-smokers are three times more likely to develop Parkinson's disease than smokers. Nicotine users. You could say vapors. A study at John Hopkins University had the same results. Now, Johns Hopkins is a big one, right? I mean, that is a big, big, big university. So that's two studies have confirmed. Smokers are less likely to get Parkinson's and by extension, because they're nicotine users and we are nicotine users, the same applies to vapors. Let's go back to this because it makes great reading. Uh, neurologist James Boyd, studying nicotine and Alzheimer's disease, found significant nicotine-associated improvements in attention, memory, and psychomotor speed with excellent safety and tolerability. <coughs> I'll read that again. Paul, uh, neurologist James Boyd, studying nicotine and Alzheimer's disease, found significant nicotine-associated improvements in attention, memory and psychomotor speed with excellent safety and tolerability. Think about that. The 95% figure that's being quoted is, it's a placeholder. It's like sticking a notice outside your front door saying, don't park here, I'm putting a, an ice cream wagon outside at up past six. That's all it is. It's a placeholder. It's a placeholder that says, look at there's nothing to worry about. That's why it's there. It's a political device. Well, what you've described is wiggle room. Wiggle room. It's exactly that. It's wiggle room. It's exactly what it is. I Keith. mean, we just think of being inundated with pretty positive stuff in the last week or two, don't we? It, it's been it's been absolutely fabulous. It's, I've got you know. I mean, I've, I've had my head all over the place trying to actually get the grips with it all. And, and reading the 111 pages of the report, the full thing. Right. And it makes lovely reading. I mean, I've just picked up on what I've read and what I've seen on the telly, but uh, it just seemed a complete change, um, you know, to the sort of negativity. Well, it is. And then these studies on nicotine and dementia and Alzheimer's and Parkinson's and all the rest of it, that, that that's pretty groundbreaking stuff isn't it it's pretty heavy isn't it it is i mean and heavy in a good way yes i mean it's yes. heavy it's heavy in a chair dance way yeah yeah i mean seriously i had half a bottle of gin when i read that really oh i had to celebrate it was fabulous absolutely fabulous 
Did, did Anne McNeil and, and, and Peter Hayek have come back on this 95% thing as well? And that's there. There's, they're all available from that first link. Let's just have a quick look at it. And it says, underpinning the evidence for the estimate that e-cigarette use is around 95% safer than smokers, smoking, authors note. Um, it's based on the fact that the constituents of cigarette smoke with harm health carcinogens are either absent in e-cigarette vapour or, if present, they are mostly at levels much below 5% of smoking doses, mostly below 1% and far below safety limits for occupational exposure. The main chemicals present in e-cigarettes only have not been associated with any serious risk. Let me say that one again. The chemicals, the main chemicals present in e-cigarettes only, as in they're not in fags, have not been associated with any serious <laughs> risk. There's a risk to eating a Mars bar. There's a risk to picking your nose, especially if you're walking upstairs and trip. There's a risk, as I have discovered, to playing the drums for 45 years. Eventually your hearing's going to go. It does. It's amazing I can hear all kinds of things. So what's, what's your view about the link with smoking cessation because that's come in for some criticism hasn't it smoking cessation programs and using e-cigarettes and the costs associated with that well that's not going to happen well uh, you would hope not well but it's not it can't happen but that's what's being talked about that's what the papers picked up because the journalists these days are idiots they're just copy and paste and then go and look for something sensitive. Look, right, look. There is a case in point today. There was a headline in the mirror, and if you were on Twitter, you would have seen this. A 13-year-old, <coughs> right, 13-year-old, male or female, at the age of 13, had been running around on a dual carriageway that was pouring with traffic. How would you describe that? If you had to put it in, you know, terms. How would you describe it? You would say 13 year old boy risks life and limb on dual carriageway in heavy traffic. Yeah. What did they put? 13 year old illegal immigrant risks life and limb right. on heavy traffic. Right. So that right. the journalists these days go looking for something so they can be what I would call a total ass hat about it. Yes. They're just trying to give everybody the willies, right? Yes. So what they've done, they've gone through all of this and they've, they've looked at it and thought, well, yes, um, the report actually suggests that stop smoking services do what the North East has done, what Granny Louise has done, Louise Ross, and become e-cig friendly. That's not to say prescribe them, but accept them. And say to people, look, you might find it useful to use an e-cig if you don't fancy this crap inhalator, the utter shite patch that we have, the crap gum that's going to give you mouth ulcers and actually keeps you crap. And I mean, seriously, if you're bunged up, use nicotine gum. You'll shit for England, you will. Um, it, and Sav's not, yeah. she knows. Tell them, Sav. Tell them. Yes, it's true. But it is. It true. is true. Yes. Yes, it absolutely is. It's, it, it's being, it, it should be sold with the strap line. Has the bottom fallen out of your world? Use nicotine gum and let the world <laughs> fall out of your bottom. That's what it uh, should be. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's true. Oh, God, <clears throat> yeah. I'm shitting for Britain. Uh, yeah, pardon the French. But yes. So rather, rather than just stick with that little lot, what the authors have suggested, what Public Health England has suggested, is that stop smoking services say, hey, e-cigs exist and they're very good you might want to have a look at one there's no way they're going to be prescribing them because they'll never be a medicinal e-cig and the mhra have confirmed that unless the rules are changed there can't be one it's not possible it cannot be done ergo no prescription so anytime you say that in the papers and you feel like sitting down and clattering a bit off tell them and tell them Dave said so. Put them on to me if you want. Put them on the MHRA. You put them on anybody, they'll all tell you the same. There'll never be one. And as for some plonker somewhere saying, oh yes, well, they're undergoing trials now to get them done. No, they bloody not. The MHRA has also said they are not currently considering any applications for a medicinal e-cig. They are not going to happen. I text some adverts. <laughs> I text them yeah. Have you read in chat? Is there anything... 
I need to be aware of. I'm sorry, I'm not really good at all of this. Champix makes you want to kill everybody. Well, it makes me want to kill a lot of people, yes. Not that I would take it. Because he said lol DD, what did I say? Oh, well. That was the world falling out of your bottom. Ah, I see. <laughs> Has it? Not quite. Okay, that's that's okay. That's okay. Um, so yeah, that that was that was that little lot. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do the adverts in ten minutes apart if that's all right, Sav, because I'm on a roll here. I, I, I kind of want to explain to people where I'm at because, as you are doubtless aware, I did this. It's change org, right? And I put a petition together and I put it up. It's very short, very sweet. Basically, what it does is it calls on. UK government to kick Article 20 out. Now, as you heard last night, the Department of Health has a mechanism whereby it can reject any part of the TPD. It can put it into place legitimately, right? Yes. Catherine Devlin said so. I have no reason to doubt her. And she knows what she's talking about when it comes to things like this. The Department of Health can do that. So, I was sitting thinking on Saturday or Sunday or whenever it was I set the, the uh, mm. petition away and I thought ah here's what we need to do and this is this is a little a little roadway a little set of not instructions but requests if you like the first thing first thing to do is to go and sign the petition up and I know at this moment in time better than two and a half thousand people have the next milestone for change org is five thousand now if everybody that's signed up gets one more person to sign up, that doubles up and we get the 5,000, yes? Yes. That the maths is good. My maths is good. Yeah. Good. I, and I look nothing like Simon Chapman, so there you go. My maths is good. Now then, here's the other thing. You can email everybody in your email list. Right. So if you've got, oh, I don't know, let's say you're not very popular and you've got 10 contacts in your email list. And you email them, and you, in the email you say, look, this actually is really, really important to me. Would you mind awfully just going and signing up to this? It's not <laughs> going to cost you anything. It's going to take you less than five minutes. Just go and put your name to it, will you please? That would take that two and a half thousand up to 20,000 if everybody just had 10 people on their email. Yeah. I have an email list that's approaching 700. Right. They're all getting it. And if they all sign up and they've got big email lists, so you're saying where I'm going with this? Because what I want to try and do is out of all of these people that sign up to that, I'm going to, a little bit further down the road, point everybody at a website that Liam Bryan is working on. And I'm not going to give too much away about it, but that will allow people to get in touch with their MP easily and without having to think too much. The next stage after that is that you then sit down and write a letter to your MP. You can either email it, but paper with a stamp would be better. And the next stage after that, because the letter needs to ask the MP for a meeting at their surgery. And what I want to do, if I can, if we can get every MP with a vapour in front of them that asks one simple question question we can create havoc and here's how it works you sit in front of your mp and you say could you make inquiries of the department of health and ask them if they would be prepared in light of the Pu public health england report on e-cigarettes to pull article 20 out of their implementation of the tpd if you put it in those terms, your MP has got to do that. They have got to write the letter. Sav knows this to be true and Keith knows this to be true because we've done it with our own MPs up here on a number of different occasions and the letters have been written. Can you imagine <coughs> the effect on Jane Ellison and Jeremy, Jeremy Hunt when 700 and how many MPs is there? 650. 650 MPs, right? Six, well, so there'd be 648, because obviously those yes. two are not going to write to themselves. Although Jane Ellison would have to write to Jeremy Hunt, and Jeremy would have to write to Jane. I think there's a children's boot in that, but... <laughs> um, so can you imagine, can
Can you just imagine the havoc that would cause? 650 letters, each requiring a reply, landing on Jane Ellison's desk saying, get the crap out. Get the TPD Article 20 out of the implementation. Can you just imagine? So this is all a ramp up towards that. That's what I've got in mind. That's the devious little plan I've got. What do you reckon of that, Keith? Have you ever sort of seen or heard Jeremy Hunt? Yes. Yeah. Mm. Hey, as a plan, I don't know. Blaze says, sounds like a plan. Oh, it does. Blaze says, no pressure. Leanna Lawless says she has 200 email contacts at least, not counting those only interested in Greek things. We don't wish to know about their sexual preferences, Lal. Just get them to sign up. We just need people. We need bums on seats in front of MPs making waves. And the bigger the waves, the better. The petition Somebody, somebody asked me, why didn't you do it on the official e-petition site, on, on the government websites? And Ray, I'll tell you why. Because we wouldn't hit the 100,000. I'm pretty sure we wouldn't hit the 100,000. Not without vendors getting involved and emailing everybody on their lists and asking everybody on their email lists and their customer lists to get involved. Vendors, if you want to do that, please do. Please, please do. Because if we get the numbers on Changeorg, it's just as good. It really is. But I thought, no, let's do the change org thing because we can get people from all over with all kinds of different things that will get involved that possibly might not even have heard of E6. But this is the idea. The idea is to make waves. When we were at the NEC in Birmingham, Fraser Crocker said it, we've been sitting on our backsides with our thumbs up our arses doing nothing for too long. We need to get active again. And this Public Health England report has given me a new lease of life. It's a springboard. I'm ready to go. I'm raring to go. I'm going I'm going up to Glasgow to talk to people on Sunday in Scotland. And I won't be drinking while I'm there. That's how committed I am to all of this. Um, this is, this is, ooh, it's fabulous. Do you not think? Sorry, I was, I was just... Uh, Were you reading yeah, again? Yes. Yes. Yes, there you go. So that's, that's the idea. That's what I've got in amongst all of that little lot. Well, uh, I've got no idea what the time is. Yes, I do. It's 27 minutes past. We'll take a blast of adverts. Then we'll, we'll, we'll talk what? <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. No, go on. Tell no, me. No, no. Go on. I can no, take it. I'm no, a man. Just about Jeremy Hunt. That's oh, all. right. Yes. Is it rhyming slang? Yes. Oh, well, there's a shock. <laughs> <laughs> take some adverts. Back in two minutes. Go thou nowhere. Filleth thy tank. Uh, filleth thy glass. And uh, cheers. It's nice to be back at Yes. Bye, yeah. too. Eleap UK are proud sponsors of the Haze Hour on Vapor Trails TV. Often imitated, never duplicated. Award-winning service and products from cloud9vaping.co.uk. Sponsors of Vapor Trails.
are proud sponsors of the Haze Hour on Vapor Trails TV. And we're back in the room. I don't, know, magic. I don't, I don't even have to touch buttons, man. It's fabulous. Must be that coffee machine. It's not a coffee machine. It's an, it's, it's, it's an, it's an Apple Mac Pro. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. It is. Yeah, I can it's, see it's, that on the front. It's, yeah. it's black, it's sleek, it's quiet, and they can't see it. <laughs> That's right. But they can see belly cam. Belly cam! There you are. It's belly cam. Look at that. I've rigged another one up because this is what we're going to talk about next. This is the Pegasus. A rocket ready it's to take not a off rocket. from if its I put it, it did look out like a rocket. I just put it that way so people could see. Um, and I thought rather than do this live, you know how, you know how sometimes you kind of get to that, that situation where your good lady's gone out. Yes. And your daughter's gone out with your good lady and the two bands have gone. In other words, you've got some peace and quiet. Yes. I had some peace and quiet yesterday. Right. And I thought, go on, I need, I need to remember how to use all of this stuff. So I filmed a film. Oh, a film? I filmed a film. I didn't know that. I did, I filmed a film. Does everybody want to see the film? Uh, yes, Are can't you wait. Are you sitting comfortably? Are you? Yes. Are you sitting comfortably, Sav? I am, very comfortable. Excellent. Then, uh, then we'll begin. This is the, it's the Odyssey kit, it's the full blifter. Well, you'll see. Enjoy. Well, hello, it's me, I'm back. Guando Caliente, El Sol and all that. And today, uh, not being back very long, there's been some new kit announced, which I've managed to get my mitts on. And it's this. This is the Aspire Pegasus, is what it is. There it is. It's a bit of a, a fingerprint magnet for me, I'm afraid. Um, together with a Triton tank. And I thought I would just run quickly through the whole thing because apparently now it has temperature control wings. I'm not going to do the unboxing bit. What I am going to do, though, is show the fingerprint magnetnessness of it all. It is. It's an absolute fingerprint magnet for me. Um, it just is. But let's take the Triton tank off the top and run through what you get. Uh, I'll try and show you this in a little bit closer up. Okay, starting at the top. Starting at the top, we have um, a floating pin 510 connector. Recessed, it's not Ego, doesn't come with an Ego adapter. Uh, it's just there, and you can see straight away the fingerprint magnetness of it all. Um, below the top, you have this here, which is the alterizer. Alter and if you look there, it's in wattage mode at the moment. And as I turn that little screw, you can see the wattages go up and down. All right. I'm going to leave it set to 40 watts for the moment. But while we've got it in, the, in this position, there's your fire button. There's your display. And here is the USB charge socket. Great. There is an additional charging stand that you can get that uses the two contacts at the bottom. And by the time I'm playing this, I hope I'll have the stand. I've certainly ordered one. Um, here is the battery compartment, which you slide to one side. Ping, battery comes out. As easy as. But once it's in, then you can quite easily just leave it there and charge it via USB. And uh, I, I rather like that idea. So yes, pull it forward, slide it back. That's It's not going anywhere. And it is quite nicely vented nice little grater thing there as well i don't think you could yeah you probably could file your nails on it it's that simple really um a knob for altering things which most people understand turning a knob to alter things um but what's what's happened since this was announced is that it now has as i say um temperature sensing temperature control um which works with nickel only with nickel, nickel 200. So what I need to do is to find a nickel 200 device. Actually, hang on, let's wind it back a little bit, David, get that out of shot and bring in the box and show the bits that come. Um, you get a full manual. Um, it's written in English, pretty much. Uh, takes you all the way through it and runs you through the various different bits and bobs that come in the kit. So as you can see from this picture here, 
especially if I can get it in shot. There is a picture of what you should get in the kit and what you should get in the kit is this orange uh, USB cable which is there. That's You're not going to miss that are you? You should get um, a black canthal or actually stainless steel low homage coil. You should get a blue um, coil which is the narrow aperture coil and a red one which is the nickel coil as well as bearing in mind this is the odyssey kit as well as the triton tank so what are the differences between the coils well let's let's have a look at them and see shall we take them out of the box here they are do some zoomage this is going to need to get quite close and let's start with the nickel coil now the nickel coil you will be able to see you can see the size of that hole going down the center of it and you can also see the size of the air holes going in so let's have a look at the mouth to lung coil and put the two side by side so you can see the difference look at the mouth to lung coil here it has a much much smaller diameter a lot more cotton to get in the way if you like a lot more cotton to hold the uh, the liquid in and therefore you're going to have a lessened airflow and you'll see at the bottom too if i put the two side by side you can see the difference in the airflow holes there's the what people refer to sub ohm i'm going to recur uh, i'm going to refer to it as high wattage high volume vaping there and this is the lower wattage lower volume mouth to lung so what to do what to do well here's what to do what i'm gonna do if i can is also take out from the triton this is the stainless steel coil that comes and as you can see that is absolutely guaranteed set up for mouth to lunging so what i'm going to do just to try this all out i'm going to take the stainless steel coil off which because it's knurled is relatively simple to do put that beside the nickel one and I'm going to put the mouth to lung coil on and then what I'm going to do is pre-soak the mouth to lung coil so a bit of juice so that it soaks its way in this may bring memories back to a lot of people but you can see at the side you might be able to see that that juice is soaking in you can see that that's half soaked and half not so the thing to do is just keep blobbing juice on it really until that's all soaked in and then you know you've got juice exactly where you need it and then i'll uh, clag it back into the triton tank itself and then just because i can show you how the triton fills and i've become a big fan of top filling but this is clever i think i like quite like the way this works you take off your drip tip and if you look in there you'll see there's two little semicircular kind of holy things and um, if you turn the top of the tank so that the pointer is beside that little dropper you see that the semicircular things have opened and so you can get the nozzle of a bottle down into it and fill and it's as as easy as that it'll drop down the side and you don't actually need to get your your nozzle right into that little semicircular bit and then put the top back on and wind it round back whence it came so that it's at the little pictograph and it clicks into place of somebody vaping I don't know whether you'll be able to see that yeah you can just just make a picture out of somebody vaping and that's where that little arrow needs to be now <clears throat> i need to give it a second or two i also need to give it a little dry so i shall do that on my new dual purpose piece of uh, cloth 
dual purpose piece of cloth I'm using now see so it's both the background for you to see what's going on and also so that I can use it to dry my fingers off because they're greasy as they normally are that's the way it goes so we've done that there's one other thing I need you to see before I stick it onto the device so let's go back too close you up you can now here at the top is the bit I am not sure about and what it is I'm going to zoom in even further just because I can will it no I'm at maximum zoom now all right this is a, a top airflow and if I twist the drip tip you can see that that top airflow thing opens up now I'm yet to be convinced of the the worth of this um, but more of that live but as I'm rolling this about I think we're pretty much safe that it is indeed now pretty well soaked so let's connect it back up onto the Pegasus as one does when one can and let me show you what happens and I've got no idea whether this is going to be the right way up but if I hold it measures it leaves it in watts and obviously I'm going to need that down because this is going to be for running and you can see it's at 2 ohms so let's take it down to something sensible let's start it where my wife would normally be which is around 11 watts and see whether or not this thing actually works from mouth to lung it should be interesting so here we are mouth to lung and blow me it does actually work you've got the airflow airflow control at the bottom of the tank which I've got wide open at the moment and that possibly wants turning up a little bit I'm not not absolutely certain let's close the airflow all the way off <laughs> with the airflow closed off let's go back to close here what we can with the airflow closed off it's here all the way down I think I'm safe in saying that even cat Chris would have difficulty in taking a drag out of that but you can see that the the control is infinite so you can get it down as small as you want so let's go back to it and have another go need to close it down a bit further for me and as a mouth to lung device I'm going to turn it up a little bit I used to quite like 14 watts so we'll try 14 watts that actually works um, it's probably stealthable at that and if you if you're into mouth to lung you're not going to want the uh, the top airflow control opened and you're going to want your airflow at the bottom minimally open I would imagine and that does seem to work quite well I'll try it with Keith now purely and simply because I can't let's swap over and put a nickel coil on to show you what happens when you go into temperature mode so let's go back to close you up you can and zoom out a little bit because I don't think you need it well zoomed in for this so here we are let's take the the Triton off the top of the Pegasus put the Pegasus slightly out of the way and again cloth sticky slippy fingers not sticky fingers so undo that and there is no issue with the uh, juice dripping about the place unscrew it and because it's knurled so the blue bands around says that's set up for mouth to lung the red one is the nickel it says nickel 200.15 ohms 
and again let's get some juice on it shed loads of airflow try and show you that thing sorting in again you can see it coming down the side probably even that we'll give it a good blast okay and then back into the triton which so far hasn't spilled a drop other than where my fingers have been on it which is pretty damn good so there we are triton back together and i want to play and find out where we're at with all of this um, from my perspective it's quite comfortable in the mouth did i really want to say that out loud probably not okay now let's put the triton with the nickel coil onto the pegasus and this is where it all gets funny press the button you'll see it's shown 0.16 ohms and you might think that that's all you need but it's not keep it pressed down for four seconds or more ah. 70 watts Woo. interesting it's not having it let's take it off again check out the miser what's supposed to happen there we go as you saw it goes into temperature mode and you set the temperature with the the wheel at the top the control wheel and i'm going to set it for 490 okay i'm going to open the airflow all the way up on this and as you could see it's running at the full 70 watts here so let's give it a blast and see what occurs okay and straight away you have got the full airflow the full bifter the whole thing's working as it should now going back to close you up you can and zooming in as one does this airflow control at the top i'm not awfully convinced i'm going to open it not awfully convinced i'm going to open it wide open as you can see that's wide open and give it a blast and see what happens so let's do that so wide open at both ends it's not as dense but you can get a full lung full in quite easily i'm going to do that <laughs> as you can see not as dense it, it clears quite quickly let me close it down again I'll show you that now you can see you can see the hole so let's close it right down it's quite easy to grip and this will take a standard 510 drip tip by the way and let's have another blast at it and see what occurs here we go I don't know whether there's any difference I've got to be honest it's denser because it's dropping quicker is one way of looking at it um, but look does temperature control does mouth to lung and it does well three three there's three different tank kinds of coil for it and that's outside of the fact that there's an RBA deck which I may have a look at another time although my feeling is that people would want to use bought coils off the shelf coils if you like um certainly from my wife's point of view she's not that bothered about building her own coils and i've got to be honest i'm not bothered about building them for her <laughs> as you wouldn't be really you know life's too short um i'll be having a look i think live at the charging dock um but thus far this is a very much a first impression it seems as though it's capable of catering for everybody i like the idea 
that you can have a narrowed airflow coil which basically gives you the same kind of airflow that you would get from an ordinary tank and you may recall uh, a few weeks ago Sav was bemoaning as was Chris Cat the fact that there doesn't seem to be any development for people who like mouth to lung well this would appear to be development for people who like mouth to lung um, what I'm going to do is give my darling wife the Triton with the mouth to lung in it and on the Pegasus and let her find where she's at with it and we'll see how that goes and if she likes them well I might just get her one so for me for the moment it's back to the studio UK are proud sponsors of the Haze Hour on Vapor Trails TV. Dripper selection boxes now come in 0 and 3 milligram strengths. So tell Dripper the kind of flavours you like and we'll send you 70 mil of some of the world's most exciting flavours every month. With free delivery anywhere in Europe, treat yourself to a Dripper box today. Dripper.co.uk UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquids. Proud sponsors of Vaping Entertainment on Vapor Trails TV. Proud sponsors of the Haze Hour on Vapor Trails TV. All right then. Well, that certainly caters for me using your words. Does it indeed? Yes, uh -huh. 13 watts. Very nice. Uh huh. I'll talk to Jill about that. Is it here? Uh, well, <laughs> bad bug here. <laughs> I don't know. I'll tell you what. Hang on. Just a minute. I just, just, just have to be a bit on the safe side. I do right. apologise, viewers, but I just, just want to be ah. sure that we're going to be. <laughs> Look, all right. Just, you yeah. know that's really mean. That. That's it. We're safe. Yeah. Right. God. Where was I? What? Gaffer tape over my pocket. Well, you know. <laughs> is, it, is if I take it, you would. No. Of course. <laughs> Right, just quickly, because we're, we're, we're fleeing and running out of time here. Let's go to close you up, you can't. That's, that's the charging base, look. That's that's it there, right? And it's solid, it's heavy. I'll tell you what, go to belly cam, Dave. Belly cam. Belly cam, belly cam. Charging base, right? Um, it's it's nicely put together, actually. It's solid. Four little doohickeys on the bottom. The the orange. God, you kind of miss it, can you, that year? You can't, point. no. I mean, you're not going to trip over it. Well, you are if you're deaf, if you're blind, if you're if stupid. Well, <laughs> um, and it just, it does. At first, it didn't want to connect, and then it just wobbles its way in. And as you can see... Does it come out easily? Pardon? It... Oh, yeah, it does, eh? Um, I hope, I hope you lot are watching here. Look! Can't take it. No, you Your can't. Bloody off. right, you can't. Put it back. So, yeah, I don't know. Yes. yes, top pocket denied. No Chief Keith, no trouser pockets. The last time he was on, on telly with his hand in his trouser pocket, there was all kinds of comments going on in chat. Was there? Ah, you were playing pocket billiards, apparently. I don't remember that. Ah, I went in off the red. <laughs> God. <laughs> hey, dear. Is it Bear O'Clock yet? Uh, is, it what? is it Bear O'Clock? Is it Bear O'Clock yet? Is it not Bear O'Clock? Oh well, come on. Um, yes, so where was I? Uh, close you up, he comes where I was. 
So that, that's, that's the little beastie. Um, and yes, it's doing the job quite nicely. It's dead easy to in and out it. Just sits there, wobbles about a bit, but it's, it's solid enough. It does the job. And, and going to belly cam, belly cam, belly cam, belly cam, as you can see. Look, it's truly forged. I noticed that. It's truly forged. I'll have a drag. Keeps taking us by surprise, you know. Rubbing me nose in it. Pardon? Eat your heart out. Um, yeah. Um, like I say, you know, I'm, I'll keep playing with it and, and, and the Pegasus and uh, see what Jill thinks of it as well. Uh, but so far, she said she just didn't like the taste of the juice. Flavour-wise, that's oh the Oh, no, I thought the juice was was nice. Yeah, but she thinks it tastes of lychees. Lychees. But that's the new base I'm using. It's the top base. The Italian stuff. It's so clean. Um, and I, all I'm getting is that little bit of ethyl malt I put in. It's gorgeous. I thought it was slightly less sharp. Smoother, more rounded. Good flavour then. Yes. You heard it from Keith. What, what? What's this? What are they talking about? For the kit, yeah. 70, 80 ish, there or thereabouts. Um, Aspire.co.uk obviously is where it's come from. And their shipping's pretty damn good. They said it was shipping out on Wednesday. <coughs> and it landed on Wednesday. That's fast shipping. So Obviously, does that include the base? But no, the, no, no, no. You buy the base separately. And if you want the rebuildable section for the Triton Atomizer, that's separate as well. Right. Um, I, 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 I try not to put too many opinions out, but I'm here to tell you, I quite like this Triton. I think, right. If you talk to Lorien, right, Cerulean C, Lorian will tell you that flavours are vitally important for vapours. And she'll tell you that flavours are vitally important for vapours because it disassociates the flavour of a cigarette with the flavour of an e-cig. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah? Yes. And that although there are similarities, there are major differences. Now, I was thinking about this. Because with the advent of the TPD, and, and we're not guaranteed to get Article 20 thrown out either by TW or by this action I was talking about before, with being pushed into using lower strength juice, because even in the UK now, getting hold of 36 or 24 is bloody hard. In the States, it's all but impossible. Because vendors, and you can understand why, are gearing up for the TPD. So right. how would you sort of describe as lower? Well, you're talking 12, yeah. 6, 3. Right. You're talking um, glycerin, heavy glycerin bases. Well, I've always used a heavy glycerin base, so that actually, that's nothing new for me. But if I was, I mean, right, although I can mouth to lung this, it's not satisfying me because I'm not getting enough. I need 54 in that. Right, and what's that? That's 10. Right. So I'm, I'm happy lunging it. That keeps me happy as Larry on this, on this snow wolf at whatever it is, 60 watts and 480 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry for those of you that like centigrade, <coughs> but I'm fahrenheit it tonight, you know? Deal with it. Um, this going... I like that. I can get, you know, that's that's probably five times or six times as much vapour as I would get from... So, have you still got that on the same setting as I was using it? Well, it's at 13 watts. Yes. Yes. Right. And that, that, that would be... It's effectively, for me, that's, that's an Ego and a CE4. And if I'm going to use an Ego and a CE4, I'm putting 45 or 54 milligram in it. 36 at the minimum. Otherwise, it's just not going to do for me. Lunging it, though, I can get away with the lower stuff. And I've kind of fought a little bit shy of saying this up until now. 
But the bottom line on it is, something like the Triton has the capability of taking somebody that's on a CE4 through a journey into dissociating completely from cigarettes, if that's what they want to do, and, and I'm not not an anybody smoke, and I don't care, right? It's their business, it's none of mine. It's nobody else's business, it's theirs, no, nobody else's. But if they want to make that journey, they can make the journey from mouth inhaling to lung inhaling with a Triton tank. Yes. It'll do everything yes. for you because if I open that, that and th this was where I was getting a bit confused with it all yesterday, but if I open that top airflow thing up, I'm going to be able to, to lung it, even at 13 watts. And straight away on that lower setting, I'll, I'll whack it up a bit. I'll take it up to 20 watts and I think it'll probably manage it. In other words, you've got the versatility. You've got the potential for if you feel you need, if you're not getting enough out of the yeah. juice you've got in a CE4 style mouth to lung in it, you can train yourself into lung hitting as though you'd been using a bong all your life. And there you go. I have suddenly discovered the reason for these top airflow things. And it's, I think that's quite important. I think that if we're not successful in getting shot of Article 20, sign the petition, sign the Totally Weekend uh, uh, Challenge site as well, um, and, and talk to your MP, but if we're not successful in getting this gone, then something like the Triton, something like a system like that, stands the chance of allowing smokers who want to make the switch to make the switch to something that's going to work really well and allow them to use the kind of sub tanks and other devices that are out there that have been in development for rather longer. I welcome this and it's not often I get excited about something, but because I've worked that out now, that actually does excite me quite a lot. Um, I like the form factor, I like the charging stand, I love that orange cable, you just can't miss it. I like the Triton tank, I actually like that as a setup. Mm. I really do. And I think it's it's gonna be it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good. Now Jake Jacobson has said liquid vendors are making a kill and selling three milligram liquid for the same price as twenty-four. I wanna pick up on that one as well. Go to a bar, go to a pub. And if you get yourself a pint of, what is it, that, that leg breaker that they've got along at the stockyard that's something like 7.8% or something. Uh, Bishop's I, I, Finger? Pardon? Bishop's, Bishop's fi Finger. Yeah, it could be Bishop's Finger. That's something in our part of the world. <coughs> Let's say it's £2.50 a pint, but if you want a pint of bitter, it's £2.49, and that's 5.8%. They charge what the market will bear. That's the way it is. And, and again, it's one of those things you've just got to live with. If you ain't mixing your own and you want somebody else to do it for you, you're paying for them to do the mix. It's the same as going to a restaurant, isn't it? Yes. You know, you can yeah. go and buy yourself a lovely piece of fillet steak in case case ruin it by cooking it well done. Well, you do. That's not ruin, eh? It is, it kills, it's totally dead. I mean, you can't revive it. A steak, the way you eat steak, it should be that a good vet could get it back on its feet. And then what do I do? I don't know, you put salt on it, don't you? Exactly. Yeah, pig. Oh, that's shocking. That exactly. is terrible. Put salt. But it's exactly that, isn't it? You go to Gordon Ramsay and you want to cook by Gordon Ramsay or that other fella that uses all the carbon dioxide and nitrogen and, and pigeon droppings and whatever, and you'll pay £35 for your fillet steak. You go to Nando's and you'll get it for And 15. have abuse hurled at you at the same time. Absolutely, because you put salt on it and you shouldn't. It's just wrong. Um, look, I've ranted enough. I've raved enough. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. I <laughs> shall be in Glasgow on Sunday at Vape School and I'm looking forward to that. I shall be at Vape Fest Ireland which happens in November and I shall be, if anybody is watching in New Zealand, in New Zealand I fly out there on the 29th of September to help set up NNA New Zealand together with Dr Mario Glover. I'm going to be a busy boy. So until we see you next time, from Keith, from Sav, and from me, to everybody out there, are you ready for this? Yeah. Vibon!
their pod and don't, don't let, let the bastards, bastards grind, grind you down. <laughs> Until we see you next time from Kate <laughs> Southern, mate, <laughs> and everybody else on the VT TV team, <laughs> take care of each other, look after each other, and have a hell of a wonderful time. Is it gin o'clock now? It is. Bye bye. 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 Yes, yes. You know, you look at the array of juices now and you spoke for choice, aren't you? Well, in terms of flavour. Oh, aren't you just? <sighs> Welcome back to Tanned Twins. <laughs> Tanned Twins. <coughs> Who's Man U UKV? Oh well. It used to come in away then. Started at 10. Why would I do that? Uh, it's still live. Oh. Oops. <laughs> <clears throat>